Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Iza. Today I'm going to show you how to make rice pudding, but just not any kind of rice pudding. I'm making it the traditional way, the Pakistani way. I'm making keed, and keed is flavored with cardamom and slow cook for a long, long time. First, we're going to cook our rice, and if you guys suck at cooking rice, you actually don't need to know how to make rice. You almost don't want to know how to make rice because what we're going to do, we're going to cook the rice off until it's really, really mushy and we're going to mash it up a little bit and then add it to our milk and from there, the slow cooking process begins which will be like two to three hours so be patient, clean your house, clean your kitchen, clean your bathroom, clean everything you've got to clean and then check up on it every once in a while. So if you guys want to check this out, keep watching. Now back into the same pot, we're going to add in our milk. And we're going to bring this to a simmer before we add in some cardamom pods, a little bit of sugar, and our rice. This is roughly about six to seven tablespoons. As you can see, it's all really clumped up and you think it might not distribute throughout the milk, but it will. Just give it some time. One more thing is it needs to cook on a very, very low flame and in a stainless steel pot. Two things that are super important. Now this is what my cue looks like after two hours because it should be able to coat the back of your spoon and this is not quite there yet. This is what I'm talking about. Do you see the brown bits that are stuck to the bottom of the pan? They're not going to peel off because I'm using a stainless steel pot. If you were to use a non-stick one, these brown bits will peel right off and distribute throughout your cue. Our cue looks about done. It's really, really thick. And now you can see that my cue is kind of sticking to my spatula so you know that this is done. And now all we got to do is take it off the hob and pour this into the terracotta saucers that I bought. Which I think you guys should. Alright, so my cue has sufficiently chilled in the fridge and now I'm going to taste test this. Oh man. This tastes exactly like the key you get in Pakistan. And another thing that's really important to know, the consistency of key. If you flip your key plate upside down, it's not going to fall off. Your key should be slow cooked for a long time and that process will give it that depth of flavor that's in my key right now. If you try this, you are going to absolutely love it. If you want the recipe for this key, go to rookiewithacookie.com. Uh, my website link is under every video that I post on YouTube, so click on it and it will take you directly to that recipe. If you have recipe suggestions and anything you want to leave, do so now.